The Gasha Classic Pro has been, and honestly still is, the go-to recommendation I have for a standalone single boiler espresso machine under $500. Even when people bump up their budgets to $1,000, they generally still end up going with this machine and just investing that extra cash into the grinder they pair with it. It is that dominant in the bang for your buck category, which is why I was extremely excited when I heard about the release of the new Gaja Classic Evo Pro. What's changed and is it worth your consideration? Let's find out. Now, this machine was lent to me by Whole Latte Love to compare to my personal Gaja Classic Pro, so thank you to those guys. If you do want to check your local pricing for the Classic Evo Pro, I will have it linked down in the description below. Now, when I saw the first images of the new Evo, I have to admit, I was a little bit disappointed. This is absolutely not a full overhaul or a drastic shift from what the old base model has to offer. There still is no PID, it still uses the same steam arm, and from anything more than 10 feet away, it looks identical to the untrained eye. Instead, this new iteration is exactly as the Evo naming would imply. It is an evolution, a small but deliberate step forward for the platform. And while I do subscribe to the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality, I can't hide the fact that I was hoping for a bit larger and bolder of a leap. With that being said, the changes that have been made are quite significant even if you can't see them all at first glance. The first biggest change, and reason enough to go for this model over the old one, is that the Gaja Classic Evo Pro ships with a 9-bar OPB spring straight out of the box in North America. 9-bar is the standard extraction pressure when using traditional non-pressurized filter baskets. Any higher than this, and it starts to get difficult to get consistent shots due to the added stress being applied to the puck, which often leads to channeling. For this reason, the most common modification made to the Gaja Classic Pro was to swap out the stock OPV spring. A relatively simple task if you're even the slightest bit handy, but a bigger issue for some people because how it would void the manufacturer warranty. On the Classic Evo Pro, this isn't something you need to worry about. You can get started pulling fantastic shots right out of the box. Finishing on the outer shell of the machine has also been updated from the old Classic Pro. The wide range of colors that the Evo Pro is now offered in is further accentuated by the new painted finish that does look more premium up close. If you're not a fan of the colors, it's also still available in a more subtle stainless steel shell. The next biggest and most visually impactful change for me is that the portafilter and group head are using much nicer materials on the Evo Pro. The portafilter is now solid polished stainless steel versus the old chrome plated one on the Classic Pro. Not only is this going to be far superior from a long term wear perspective, but the appearance is also just so much nicer. When held side by side, the old Classic portafilter looks pretty raggedy in comparison. Apart from that improvement, the handle is still made of the same lightweight plastic that I criticized in my original Classic Pro review. I do wish that they had fully overhauled the portafilter to improve the feel in the hand, but we are moving in the right direction. In the group head, the story is much the same. The cover is now polished stainless steel instead of chrome. And even more exciting is that the group head is now made of brass, which will be better from both a thermal standpoint and durability. Not to mention, it just looks great. Moving back to the inside of the machine, the pump and heating system have been updated to improve serviceability down the road, and the boiler itself has also seen an update. It is still made of aluminum, but they've introduced a new internal coating that is supposed to greatly reduce the risk of scale buildup, once again, improving longevity for home use. The Gaja Classic Pro has always been a workhorse of a machine that can last many years, if not decades, when taken care of properly. And with these updates, it is going to be an even more reliable choice. Overall, although I am a little bit disappointed that the steam arm didn't get an update and we still don't see a PID control, we also didn't really see an increase in price. So this is kind of more of a Gaja Classic Pro S rather than an entirely new model. Gaja, if you are listening, a slightly more expensive machine with a PID and more premium finishes would absolutely fly off the shelves. But for now, we have this, the Gaja Classic Evo Pro a machine that I will continue to use as a foundational recommendation for people looking to buy an espresso machine anywhere under the $1,000 mark. 
when paired with a good grinder, this is an almost impossible offering to beat, especially now that it's brewing at a proper nine bar and has further updated the build quality and finishes. Again, if you want to check out this machine, I will have it linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.